Prince George's County Police tell us they arrested two teens accused of trying to kill a 14 year old boy on a bus. You can see it all going down on this video. Yeah, and the details are pretty frightening. These three boys right here wearing masks and hoodies pulled over their heads. They got onto a school bus in Oxen Hill. They pushed on by the driver, went right up to a middle schooler, put the gun to his chest and pulled the trigger three times. Thankfully, nothing happened though because the gun jammed. Now, with two suspects facing charges tonight, investigators tell us they're looking for the third person in that video. Yeah, they don't want this to happen again. Scott Broom is in Prince George's County, where the mother of a boy who was attacked says she and her son are still terrorized. The mother, whose son was attacked on a school bus at this intersection back on May 1st, asked us not to use her name. My baby looked at me when he got off the bus and he said, Ma, I'm not getting on no bus no more. She shared with the faith community her raw emotions last night after the caught on camera attempted murder of her son on a Prince George's County school bus. Investigators say the gun misfired after being held to her son's head. He's a star football player. He's a first place wrestling champ. We have not been able to go back home. I don't feel safe. He doesn't feel safe. Today, Prince George's County police announced that two of the three juveniles caught on camera during that school bus attack have been arrested and charged as adults, but that leaves a third suspect still loose. A reward is being offered. Police have not said whether they recovered a gun in the case. Now, this attack happened here on May 1st when the school bus pulled up at the intersection of Iverson Street and Sutler Drive to make its last stop of the day. That's when the attackers forced their way on the bus and ran towards the only passenger, a 14-year-old boy. Police said a gun was held to the victim's head, but it misfired repeatedly before the attackers then beat the boy and fled. It's one incident of many incidents. Mark Diggs. Diggs, the president of the union representing school bus drivers, says there's an epidemic of fighting and violence on buses that must be brought under control. State's attorney Aisha Brayboy said she favors technology to screen kids for weapons. That's something that we have to think about whether or not it's worth it to program it in the budget, and I think it is. Prince George's County school officials told me today they've responded with training sessions for transportation supervisors and school security staff with a promise to inform drivers on how to respond if something similar happens. The boys who've been arrested are aged 14 and 15. They are now charged as adults with attempted first and second degree murder. They are being held in juvenile custody. There's a court hearing scheduled for them Friday. In Oxon Hill, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.